Colored Borders in DaVinci Resolve. On the face of it, super quick and easy, because all you need to do from the edit page, you open up the effects library, you come down to effects, about the fifth one down, you should see colored border, give that a click, drag that on your clip, you see the colored border appear like magic, give that footage a click on the timeline, in the inspector effects, we've got things like soft edge, border width, corner radius, and of course, change the color of that colored border, which is all well and good. And if that's all you need to do, job done, you're all done. But this colored border can start to do some slightly strange things. For example, if I was to go to the video tab and change the position or the zoom, you can see that doesn't quite work because we're actually zooming out the footage and our border isn't going along with it, which isn't ideal. It also likes to go weird when you try to apply it to footage which isn't the same aspect ratio as your actual timeline, like this sad doggo here. If we grab my colored border, pop him on there, you can see we've got this empty space because the border is going around the timeline and not the actual image or video, which is all a little bit annoying, isn't it? Well, fortunately, all of this stuff is easy to work around. You just need to know how. So let's start off with a couple of ways to get around that transform issue first. All you need to do from the effects library, come down to open effects and from within here, simply search for transform. And there's a separate open effects transform effect. We can grab that, put that on our footage like so. Then if we give that a click, still within the inspector, this time rather than being on a fusion tab, which is where the colored border exists, jump over to the open effects tab and we can zoom out and change the position using those controls instead. And that will absolutely work and give you no issues whatsoever. So you can put this wherever you want it and job done. Now that's super handy if you want to stay on the edit page, but there is a better way in my opinion, and that's simply by jumping into Fusion. This will allow you to do your standard transforms and this also fixes the weird aspect ratio kind of issue as well. All you want to do, right click the clip on the timeline, and then click on the option open in the fusion page and you'll be taken into fusion and it will look something like this. Now this is dead easy because we're basically just doing the exact same thing. Open up the effects library. This time go to template, edit and effects. And from within here, mine will be a little bit buried. So I'm just going to search for it to make life easier. Clicking on this little magnifying glass. And then we're simply going to search for colored border. And there it is. Then we click the colored border drag it down to our nodes here and you want to release it on this line. When that line goes blue and yellow, you know, you're good to go. And that's going to put the border around the actual media itself rather than around the timeline. Then you still get the same controls within the inspector. We can change the border width, the radius, the color and all that sort of good stuff. Now, if we jump back over to the edit page, you can see it's now working perfectly. And we can then use the standard transform controls as well to get this in exactly the right position. Now, the only downside, if you wish to amend that colored border, you do need to right click, jump into Fusion once again, give this colored border a click down here in the nodes, colored border options within the inspector, and then you can change all the settings like the soft edge, the border width, and the color. Now, while we're here, it's also really easy to copy and paste. So if you want to apply a colored border to a bunch of different clips, you can. All you need to do, you click on clips in the top left here to open up this kind of mini, it's almost like a mini timeline. These are all the clips that are on your timeline at the moment. And then you can just click the one that you want to apply the colored border to. If we hold control, we can click a bunch of them. So let's click all of these. And then we simply either middle mouse click or right click on the clip, which already has that colored border. So in my case, it's sad doggo. And then we click on apply composition. Do we want to overwrite? Yes, we do. And if we go to any of these other clips, we've got our colored border. We give it a click in the inspector. We've got our same controls. Then we can jump between all of them, make any amendments we need to. Then if we jump back to the edit page, they've all got that colored border applied and we can zoom, change the position and do all the things we need to do. But what if you've got like a PNG, like this lightning bolt or the DaVinci Resolve logo, and you want to put a colored border on that? Well, thanks to one of the more recent updates of DaVinci Resolve, they've added a feature which allows you to do exactly that in seconds. So we've got a lightning bolt this time. This is a PNG, so all of this black area is actually just blank. There's nothing there. And all we need to do from the effects area, once again, you can either keep scrolling down or you can simply search for this one. It's called outer stroke. If we grab the outer stroke, drop that on our PNG, 
then we get a nice colored border around the PNG. Once again, open up the inspector, we've got things like border width, and then we've got color, and this has a drop shadow built in. So let's just put something underneath this so we can actually see, and we can see the drop shadow. If you wanna get rid of the drop shadow, you just need to knock this blend all the way down to zero to get rid of it like so. One other quick thing, you'll notice this has got really harsh square edges. That's due to this border edge being box. If you change this to circle, you get much nicer edges. That should be circle by default, in my opinion, but it's box. So you just have to remember to change that to circle and job done. Now being an edit page effect, outer stroke, nice and easy to copy and paste. So I'm gonna give this one a click on the timeline, then I'm gonna hit Control and C to do a copy. We move over to my other PNG, give that a click, and then we hit Alt or Option if you're on Mac and V to open up this paste attributes window. Then we just need to tick this fusion effect because the outer stroke is a fusion effect. Click apply and it will copy that border, that outer stroke over to this other PNG. And again, in the inspector, outer stroke, we've got all of the controls so we can customize it if we need to. So a question you might have is if outer stroke exists and will automatically pick up the edges, why don't you just use the outer stroke every time rather than going into fusion and applying the colored border? And you're absolutely right, because if we were to find the outer stroke, put it on this image, we'd get a colored border around the outside. And this also fixes our zoom and position issue, so then we can just put this wherever we like and job done. But there is a downside, which is why I still like using the standard colored border. So if we jump over to the deliver page, you can see we rendered this timeline out twice. Once using the standard jumping into fusion and then applying the colored borders, that took 25 seconds. And then we did the same thing using the outer stroke and that took 40 seconds. It's just having to do a little bit more to figure out the edges. So it's just a little bit slower to run about half as slow on my testing. So that may bother you. If you're doing something simple, colored border. If you need to do something fancy, outer stroke, just be aware it might take a little bit longer to render. There you go. I think that's pretty much all you need to know about using colored borders and outer strokes in DaVinci Resolve. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.